Hey, how's it going? Jeff here from Deep Soul Battery San Diego. And if you're watching this video, then you have purchased or you're looking to purchase the big battery 48 volt 6.3 kilowatt hour or 144 amp hour battery pack for your EasyGo RXV. And specifically, that's the model that we're going to talk to you about how to install today. So what you're looking at are three of the batteries and they're hooked in parallel. Each battery is 48 amp hours has a combined total of 144 amp hours or 6.3 kilowatt hours of energy that is used to power the cart. Um, I've already installed it here and I've been driving it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this out and then we're going to show you how it installs inside the plastic EasyGo tub. That is, strangely enough, it is a perfect size for the three batteries to go. I certainly do wish we could get four in here, but there's just room for the three. And big battery, when you buy their battery, as you'll know, it uh, comes with the cables to put the batteries together in parallel. And that's awesome. They also give you uh, tabs to connect and act as feet so you can send down some bolts and connect the uh, batteries down. I'm not using the feet at this moment, um, but that is given to you as part of the purchase. They also give you a charger as well. What they don't give you, and you'll show, you'll see in the installation video, is a positive and a negative uh, bus bar for the cables to uh, come together at. So hang tight, and we're going to start uh, with an empty tub, assuming that you've safely removed your old lead acid batteries from the uh, tub, the EasyGo tub. You will not be using the hold down hardware that EasyGo gave you for the lead acid batteries because these batteries are quite uh, shorter or not as tall. And you do that safely, um, watch a video on how to remove your lead acid battery safely if you've never done so. So let's get started. As you started. can see, we have the compartment all cleared out. Uh, so by now you've got your lead acid batteries removed and you have the hold down hardware. And what uh, we have done, as you can see, is we have a positive bus bar mounted to the back of the plastic tub. Uh, it has four posts on it. This is available on Amazon. They're very inexpensive and they have an insulator. So it's perfect to have, we're going to send all the uh, positive cables to that. And then we have another negative one. Uh, and then we sent that against the back wall, right against the, now you may find that this position over here might be a little better. And this might position over here might be a little bit better. What you should do is test fit it before you installed it. When you get the lead acid batteries out, now's a good time to clean all the corrosion. I didn't bother showing you that, but I prepped all this area. And also, what I do, I'm using these carabiners to collect all the positive leads. Now, the batteries are removed, so there's no voltage to the golf cart, okay? And as you uh, removed your lead-acid batteries, you did flip the switch to tow mode, okay? And the key is off. So, I assume you already know how to do all that stuff. So, let's just keep going on about how to install the lithium batteries using the bus bar system and the parallel cables. So, this comes from Big Battery. It's an Anderson SB50 connector. And what you, the really important thing is you're going to want to install these cables so that they're face up like this. So you can see the positive and negative. When they insert into the big battery, it's gonna insert in, uh, with this face in the top, uh, let's say to the sky, okay? So this will insert, so it's important that we put our cable so that this lines up just like that. So again, we have our positive bus, our negative bus. We have all of our uh, cables carabined together. Now, what I'm not showing this video is that the charging port from the, the stock charging port had positive leads coming out of out of it. And what I've done is I've sent those to a third bus bar over here outside the video. And I'll do a separate shot for that just so you can see what, what that's all about. For simplicity, I wanna make this real simple. This is not hard at all um, to do. So get your bus bars lined up and let's start connecting our parallel cables. And you, you, we will fast forward through this part here so that we can just save some time and show you how to do that. So here we go. Facing up.
Okay, so now we're going to start tightening these together using a 916 socket. Um, something else I wanted to say, but I forgot, so let's just keep them rolling. So we're going to make sure our cables are facing the right direction. And see how I put this one on backwards? So this one is facing the wrong direction. So we're going to go ahead and reinstall this cable so that this is facing up, okay? Okay, as you can see, our cables are all ready to go into the batteries now. So we have these ready to go. So now we're gonna start putting in our three uh, lithium big batteries into this area. And it helps with two people, definitely, definitely. So I'm just gonna tuck these cables out of the way. And we're gonna put the, the uh, port with the display of the LED towards the back. The breaker should be in the off position. And you can see that the big battery fits in between the uh, plastic um, mold of the EasyGo tub pretty well. Again, do not do this with the batteries on. Make sure in the off position. All right, so I've got three in here. And this is where if you had, you want to install the feet, the feet are going to be on this end and I would pre-drill and put the bolts in at this point. So you know what, basically we're, we're just about done. So you can see that we have the positive negative and then we have the door or the uh, SB50 connector of the big battery right here. We're just gonna connect those and then push it all the way in till it seats. So we got battery one, we got battery two, and then we got battery three. Now you can see we do have the old remaining harness from the lead acid batteries. We're just going to tuck that in the back here. Just keep that out of the way. And yeah, and that's basically it. Uh, another video I'll go through on how to install the charger. Um, what I didn't show you is I had the charger leads connected to the positive and negative bus bar on that carabiner. Um, just because I've already had these installed. So that's pretty simple, but I'll do a video specifically on two things. One, we'll install the charger, just because I wanna show you how to do that. And two, I wanna show you how to program and install the, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, DROK battery monitor that Big Battery recommends that I've been using and I really enjoy it. Um, so on the next video, we'll show you how to install the charger and the DROK battery monitor and then where to put that on your golf cart. It's real simple. I think programming the Drock is probably the one thing I could not find while doing a search on YouTube myself. So here we go. Uh, they always call this a smoke test, right? Where you flip the batteries on. So I just take a quick look, make sure nothing is crossed here. And by the way, these bus bars, they come with a cap system. The last thing you're gonna wanna do is leave these uh, bus bars exposed, okay? So um, 
they do come with a cap those will go on to cover these these terminals and don't be afraid if you find that the cap is being blocked by one of the cables all you do is take some wire cutters or diagonals and cut the plastic to accommodate to get around cables those will cover these and then that prevents any kind of shocking damage so let's flip the battery to the on position flip our our run tomo back to run and then we turn the key on and we're in reverse cool so yeah everything is working i hope that helps you um give me some comments if you had some questions on how this went or maybe some problems you're running into again this is the easy go rxv and it's unique by the way this is using the intellibrake by easy go and it has a regenerative uh, regenerative braking system this golf cart is going to send energy back to the batteries and we'll talk to you about that situation but potentially um, with the lithium batteries on how to do a workaround for that so i hope this helps you and uh, you know help us out subscribe and like and and do all that good stuff and we appreciate your time and we'll talk to you again soon take care